Number three. South is dealer. One no trump. Two hearts from west. I think that two heart overcall is not exactly stunning, but I think it's worth getting involved. A, you've got a six card suit. B, it's good to intervene over their one no trump openings. If they don't have any sophistication as Labour and Soul, bidding over their one no trump often causes them squirmy issues where they don't know whether to bid three of a suit, whether that's forcing or not forcing. Obviously, we are well equipped, so we know how to deal with this. So, one no trump, two hearts. Now, we want to compete in diamonds, but we don't want to force in diamonds. So, by bidding our own suit, how do we show a non forcing hand? Yeah. Two, no two no trumps first. So, one no trump, two hearts, two no trumps, pass. Three clubs, because they're forced to. Pass. Three diamonds. Three diamonds. Bid your diamond suit. If you wanted to force with diamonds, you wouldn't have bothered going via two no trumps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that three diamond bid says, go away to south, I'm competing. All right. It's a good idea to compete because two hearts looks, as far as you're concerned, likely to make, whereas three diamonds may well have a good shot because you know you've got a diamond fit. Um, so, three diamonds is the final contract. Um, north is the declarer, so east is on lead. <coughs> so east is going to lead Singleton of their partner's suit hoping for their parts of the ace, and immediately disappointed when they see dummy. Um, now, what you've got to think about is your losers again. So we've got one losing spade for definite, unless they breach spades for us. We've got no losing hearts, because the ace-king deals with them. We've got a question mark in diamonds. We've got one definite, the ace, and one potential, the queen. We've got question marks in clubs as well. Where's the ace of clubs? We could have two or three losers there. So he's not looking very pretty. One loser, potentially two losers, potentially three losers. We could be going a couple off here. So what can we do about our potential diamond loser? The ace is definite, so we don't worry about that. Mm. What can we do about the queen? Without knowing where their cards are, what could happen? Well, I led the jack from south. Uh-huh. Trapping the queen in west. Yeah, so to finesse for it, basically. Okay, so that's that loser dealt with, in theory. It might not work. What could you do about the clubs? Wait. Yeah, that's better. Let them lead the clubs. If you're forced to lead the clubs, what's the best way to play them? No. Low towards the king. Yeah. You suspect the ace of clubs is here because they did the bidding. But they, they do have room for some cards. Because you haven't got all that many things between you. So it's looking like we want to jack a diamond, trap the queen this way. Or low diamond to the ten, same kind of thing. And then lead a club towards the king if we have to lead them. Okay, so on the opening lead, win the opening lead, play your ace. They might encourage, it doesn't particularly matter. And we want to draw the trumps. The reason you want to draw the trumps is because you only need, really need one of these trumps on dummies to deal with one of these clubs. So you can have, certainly afford to draw a couple of rounds. So, Jack of Diamonds. What should you do with West? Cover. You should cover, yeah, exactly. You don't know that the 10 and 9 are here. Your partner could have the 10 or the 9. So it could be the correct thing to do to cover, to make sure their jack doesn't do anything. You know what they're doing with that jack, they're finessing your queen. So at least kill their jack whilst they're doing it. So jack, queen, king, ace. That's a proper trick, isn't it? <laughs> um, and they continue to lead. Now, they'd like to lead another heart, because that doesn't cost them anything. They, don't, they could cash their ace of clubs, but that might expose the club scenario for North South. So I suspect a spade switch is right. Not a low spade, because that promises none, so a medium-ish spade. Whatever north plays from dummy, west can beat, so it doesn't matter. Let's say you guess with the ten. They cover with the jack. You win your ace. Now you can afford to draw another round of trumps. Ten of diamonds. Fortunately for us, the diamonds are two-two. So now you can lead your club towards your king. Yeah? So club, they play low, let's say, doesn't matter really. Shut your eyes and play the king, and that wins. That's good. Lose the club to whomever, but I suspect it will be this person, West, because their queen wins. And now, because you've drawn the trumps before losing the lead, they can't, this hand here could not gain the lead before you did that. So, because you've drawn that trump, now when they play a heart, East has not got any trumps to trump your hearts. Yeah? That's why you drew the trumps, really, because you didn't need all of these trumps, so you might as well get them off the opponents in case any skullduggery is happening. And it is. 
So now they're on lead, they can't do anything about it. They don't really want to catch the spade, so they probably will give you a lead back. Queen of hearts. Uh, discard something, doesn't matter. King of hearts. Now you can see, this is a definite loser, nothing you can do about it. This club loser, you're going to trump in dummy. Okay? So you actually only lost one club, the ace, because you trump the other one. One diamond, the ace, and one spade. So it's possible to get ten tricks if you do everything in the right order. If you don't draw the trumps first, well done. If you don't draw the trumps first, they might get a heart rough. If you don't draw the trumps or do the club towards the king, you might go off. So it depends on how it goes. Okay? Right.